Hey guys, so I know we talked about our story, The Princess and the Pony, in our writing lesson. Now I'm going to read it to you. It's a really good story. The Princess and the Pony by Kate Beaton. So again, now that you're writing your own books, check out the cover. She made it so cute. And boys, while you're going, ew, princesses, trust me, it's not what you think. The Princess and the Pony. In a kingdom of warriors, the smallest warrior was Princess Pinecone, and she was very excited for her birthday. Most warriors get fantastic birthday presents, shields, amulets, helmets with horns on them, things to win battles with, things that make them feel like champions. Princess Pinecone got a lot of cozy sweaters. Warriors do not need cozy sweaters. So let's look at our pictures here, because pictures help tell our story. So this guy, he got a shield. This one got some, like, fighting gloves. This one got a cool cloak. She's got some weights. He's got a hawk. He's got a helmet. And this old gal right here's got her, like, looks like a fancy fighting necklace. I don't even know. Princess Pinecone has a fuzzy sweater that says Special Girl. Not what a warrior needs, is it? I love her pictures. They help tell the story. This year, it would be different. Pinecone made sure to let everyone know exactly what she wanted. A big horse. A fast horse. A strong horse. A real warrior's horse. And they tried their best. What kind of horse do you think she's going to get? But they didn't get it quite right. Look at that fat little pony. Oh my goodness. She's so cute. I can't ride that, said Princess Pinecone. It's too small. It's too round. I think its eyes are looking in different directions. This was true, but only sometimes. You can't say no to a birthday present, so she took the little pony to her room, where it ate things it shouldn't have had and farted too much. <laughs> the book said that word. It's probably not a very nice word to say sometimes, but that book said it. That's a funny book. Now, as it happens, a great battle was coming up, and battling is a warrior's favorite thing to do. The princess tried to teach the pony how to be a real warrior horse. Look, she's trying to train the pony. Look at the real warrior's horse. He's, like, big and bad, and the pony's, like, short and fat. <laughs> I like that little pony. He's cute. But the pony was hopeless. We'll never be champions, Pinecone sighed. The day of the great battle arrived. All the other warriors seemed very big and very tough. Just do your best, she told the pony. The starting horn sounded, and what a battle it was. There were dodgeballs and spitballs and hairballs and square balls. Those were new. People were getting knocked over left and right. Pinecone stood at the edge, looking for her chance to dive in. What a miss. Just then, Otto the Awful, the meanest warrior of all, charged right for her. The crowd held its breath. Pinecone fumbled for her spitballs. Look at the pony. It's got his tongue out. He's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> But Otto stopped in his tracks. His eyes grew very wide. Oh, he said, what a cute little pony. Who would want to hurt a roly-poly pony like you? Oh, she's loving on the pony. Warrior after warrior paused to admire the pony. Ah, oh, what a cutie pie, said Sally Smash. He's so round, said Carlos the Cruel. Ah, oh, he looks a little bit like me, said Hugh. A huge herald. Pinecone was flabbergasted, flummoxed, floored. This is not how a battle usually goes, she said. <laughs> You're right, said Otto, but we warriors don't often get to show our uh, cuddly sides. Princess Pinecone thought about it. Well, she said, I can help you with that. They're hugging on the little pony. <laughs> Soon all the warriors had their own cozy sweaters. Look at all these cozy sweaters. They were looking pretty cuddly for a bunch of brutes. Look at all the sweaters she made them. That's too funny. Everyone voted Pinecone and the Pony the most valuable warriors of the day. Pinecone threw her arms around the Pony. You're the best horse a warrior could ask for, she cheered. 
Nothing can stop a team like us. The little pony was so excited it lifted its tail and farted. Well, said Pinecone, we can work on that. You know, horses do that a lot. That's good for their bellies. <laughs> and look, here's the pony and all the little sweaters. Isn't it cute? It's really cute. Okay, the princess and the pony. So when you're writing your books, use your imaginations like Lord Kate Beaton did for her story. <laughs>